Hey, in this video, we wanna talk about some basic troubleshooting of your water meter transmitter set uh, of your submetering system. Now, in this video, we're gonna use an MTW MJ20 water meter paired with a Next Century TR4 transceiver. However, uh, the principles should uh, be about the same with any kind of basic submetering system. Now, in this case, this is a mechanical meter. So um, I like to say that there's three points of failure when it comes to this set of equipment. You have the meter, you have the transceiver, and you have the wire itself. So in order for this to be communicating its usage online, all of this has to be connected properly and it has to be connected to the wireless system properly. So let's start with the meter. Talking about the meter itself, it's a mechanical meter. So in theory, if it were to get clogged, the mechanics would stop rotating, which wouldn't generate a pulse anymore. So that would be one thing. It's pretty unusual for that to happen. But one thing to check is, is the meter itself spinning? Turn on some water, see if the components are spinning. The next thing to check is whether my wire is connected properly to the transceiver. Now in this case, this transceiver, I can pop it open here and I can see that my wires uh, connected tightly to the two, the two spots on this blue block that it's supposed to be. On a Next Century TR4 transceiver, you have to be aware, because this transceiver can do both pulse and encoded. If we're doing a pulse meter, like in this case, it needs to be on the two terminals for pulse, like it was. So as long as this terminal block um, is on the right spaces and the wire is connected firmly, then we know our wire is, um, is connected properly to the transceiver. The next thing is whether or not the transceiver is checking into the system. This could have to do with the battery, could also have to do with range. So this one gets a little bit more complex, but typically I'm gonna make sure that my battery's installed properly and I'm gonna press the button and see if there's any flashing lights. Most of the, tr the transmitters or transceivers out there do have some kind of flashing lights. With Next Century, if this is connecting, this red light is gonna blink and then it's gonna respond after a couple seconds with a blue light indicating that it's connecting to the wireless system. So that's a basic overview of the three portions of a meter transmitter set that you want to inspect to make sure that it's reporting properly. You're also welcome to contact our support team who can help you with basic or with, with specific troubleshooting steps based on your specific system and the, the situation that you have going on.